and discovered a creepy looking doll inside a box and so he decided to take the doll out of the box and out of the storage room and put it onto a bookshelf with other creepy books when suddenly something creepy happens right at that time I'm just going through some Halloween stuff from the cool I found this creepy ass Gwendolyn doll uh, she's something all right so I'm thinking creepy doll is gonna go with the creepy books right that seems like the best place stop Me Remy Remy hey, stop stop messing with the lights Elijah hey what are you guys doing not sure what to think, Chell believes this could be a strange one-off coincidence with the lights. However, on another night he decides to show his outside decorations and sees something similar, but this time more terrifying. Watch closely. Well, I came out here to uh, try to show off his decorations, but the storm and wind pretty much blew down most of them, but that's fine. But while I'm out here, this is my attic right now. So, yeah. I don't want to go up there. I gotta go up there. Fuck. Okay. Okay. Well, I already replaced light bulbs a couple days ago, so fuck it, right? Just do it again. After noticing the lights flickering in the attic, he decides to get a replacement bulb and switch the light. But then he notices that the doll has somehow appeared in the attic with him, and as he tries to leave, the door just slams shut all by itself. He then makes a follow-up video, giving an update and just explaining the situation, not knowing that he would eventually capture something absolutely horrifying. Like the the weird stuff started when I got her when I got her out, right? Uh, so like I, I think I just need to you know put her back. Do I just get rid of her? Uh, I, it's a, The tap turns on by itself, and when he turns his back to go shut it off, the glass suddenly shatters out of nowhere, and the doll in his hand seems to burn him, causing him to drop it. After getting burnt, he then decides to burn the doll itself. I don't even figure if uh, she's gonna burn my hand, I'll just burn her. It doesn't take him too long to realize that he made a big mistake and that burning the doll wouldn't solve anything. So instead he tries out some creepy ritual which looks like it would only make things worse and I think that's exactly what happens. 
Um, so the, the church was no help and getting rid of the doll, um, didn't, didn't do anything and it's shit still happening and it's only happening now, um, when I'm alone and I don't, um, some people on the internet said to try this and it's a upright pentagram of salt and some dead leaves. And, um, I'm supposed to read from, from this book and it's like, um, protection spell to like ward off evil. I don't believe in any of this shit, but I, I don't know what else to do, so so we're gonna try it. Tune sede malice said contra events. Come on! Fuck! Come on! No! The ritual was quickly interrupted by some creepy activity. And then the doll suddenly reappears on the sofa, which freaks him out, causing the video to end abruptly. Real cursed doll or not, the final judgment is yours. Room 208 Popular Japanese paranormal YouTube channel Clip Store received a strange message from one of their viewers. The anonymous man claims that a few years back he and a group of friends explored an abandoned hotel in Japan. The story goes that a female member of their group wandered off and just disappeared. When they finally found her, she was incoherent, hunched over in front of a bathroom mirror in room 208. He says that the girl was just never the same again. She was hospitalized soon after and later consigned to a mental ward. After this experience, the girl's friends now believe that the hotel's room 208 is cursed. So completely alone, investigator Gachan sets out to explore the creepy hotel. Now the hotel has been abandoned for over 20 years and is in a terrible state. Gachan searches the building trying to find the allegedly cursed room 208. All he knows about the room is that it is said to be decorated in an older Japanese style. Gachan hears the unexplained sound of a door closing somewhere at the end of the hall. He follows the sound and bizarrely, it leads him right to room 208.
え汗鏡って絶対ダメだよねあるそんなこと汗鏡は他の部屋どうなってるえ誰かいた誰かいたちょっと待ってちょっと待ってくそややばいやばい Did you see it? Right behind the investigator, someone or something can be seen moving past a doorway. Gachan is shocked, but nevertheless, he runs toward the location where he saw the figure. But there's no one there. Gachan is a little spooked and decides it might be best to just get out of there. So, could this creepy figure be what drove the girl to madness in Cursed Room 208? Let me know what you think. She was trying to get the door open before it was too late. A disturbing video was posted onto social media, explaining that a family's doorbell camera captured their daughter arriving home late one night in a hurry due to being followed by two men. As she quickly opens the door, two strangers can be seen trying to get inside. <laughs> you can see the man holding what looks like a black bag that could be chlorophyll in attempt to abduct the girl. Could these two guys be in the wrong house, or is it a close call? Oh boy, we got we f out of here. I go to work every morning at 3 a.m. and keep seeing this man. It looks like a ghost. His head is even transparent. If you look close enough, you can see his face. It looks like an older guy. I've been seeing him for a few weeks, but I just recently caught it on video. What do I do?